if you are thinking about moving to Cedar Park, Texas, there are three things that you absolutely must know. Hey, I'm Dan Forbes. I moved from Florida to Cedar Park, Texas in 2014, and I really wasn't prepared for these three things. So let's look into those right now. I'm Dan Forbes. I'm a local realtor here in Cedar Park, Texas, and I make videos about what it's like to live here and work here and play here and all about the great neighborhoods in Cedar Park, Texas and the greater Austin area. And if you like what you see and hear on my channel, would you please give a thumbs up below? Would you leave a comment? And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll be notified uh, when a new video is produced every week. So I wanna share with you the three things that I didn't know about Cedar Park, Texas whenever I moved here from Florida in 2014. And I wish I had known about those. It wouldn't have kept me from moving here, but let me share those three things with you right now. Number one is we get hail here in Central Texas, and that is spelled H I. L. And so in just the last few days, I've been reminded of these three things. So in Georgetown, Texas, which is only about seven miles away here from Cedar Park, they just had the largest and most damaging hailstorm in recorded history. In fact, uh, there were hailstones the size of baseballs. It damaged uh, automobile windshields, of course, the automobiles themselves. It damaged uh, the roofs of houses and, uh, and businesses totaling into the millions of dollars. So when you move here to Cedar Park, I mean, it's a good idea if you can park your car in a garage or a carport or do what I did. Uh, this year, I've actually ordered a hail cover for my car. Now it's not like it hails all of the time. We may only get one uh, hailstorm a year in, you know, in the area, but um, you don't want to be caught uh, with a hailstorm that is, you know, unexpected and could damage your automobile. Now most of the hazard insurance policies, the homeowner insurance policies are going to cover roof damage. But you want to be careful about the uh, deductible that you chose because I recently had a transaction in which the homeowner had chosen a 3% uh, deductible for their homeowner's policy. And on a $300,000 home, they basically had to pay, you know, over $9,000 of expenses out of pocket for their roof damage. So be careful that your deductible isn't too high. But if you move here anywhere in the central Texas area, you can expect a hailstorm from time to time. The second thing you need to know before moving to Cedar Park, Texas is it gets hot here. And I would spell hot with a capital H, a capital O, and a capital T. So here we are, it is June the 9th, and today it got up to 99 degrees, but the heat index was 112 degrees. So if you're moving from somewhere that it doesn't get this hot, uh, that might be a little bit of a shocker to you. When I moved from Florida to Texas, hey, I was used to hot weather in Florida, you know, easily 95 high 90s in the summertime and also higher humidity but here in august for example i believe it was last year it got up to 112 degrees so it's very you know it's very common for uh, temperatures in july and august to be in the triple digits the average temperature for uh, june and july and august is about 96 97 degrees but today it's exceptionally hot however the humidity is only about 60 degrees so i'm standing outside right now in the shade of this tree and it's not really too uncomfortable but you do want to know that when you move to texas yep it's going to get hot thank god for air conditioning so when you own a home here you want to be sure that you have your air conditioning serviced uh, probably every six months twice a year and if I were you, I'd have also a home warranty uh, that covered the air conditioning system. So that's the second thing. So the third thing that you wanna be prepared for when you move to Cedar Park, Texas is tarantulas. 
I mean, the other evening, my uh, stepson sent me a photograph of a tarantula at uh, his property. He's got quite a few of them. Uh, he actually lives in Leander, Texas, which is just a handful of miles away from Cedar Park. And he has a very rocky terrain uh, in his yard and tarantulas love to live underneath those rocks and come out and ambush their prey. Now, it's not like we have tarantulas all over the place, but if you live here, sooner or later, you're gonna see one. So if you are a person that is just deathly afraid of spiders, I just want you to be, uh, be prepared. Now, I haven't seen one uh, personally in quite a while. It's probably been a couple of years, but Texas has a very large and, and varied population of tarantulas. Now you need to know that uh, for the most part, their bites aren't, um, aren't, very, um, uh, aren't very painful and, and they're not very uh, dangerous. Uh, most of the time, uh, they're gonna come out in the late afternoons, early evening, or sometimes in the morning, just, just after sunrise. But you can live here for years and not see a tarantula, but I want you to be prepared because that's what this video is about things that you'll want to know about before you move to Cedar Park, Texas. You want to know that it hails here. You want to know that it gets hot here. You, you're going to want to know that we have tarantulas here. Now, I didn't mention the rattlesnakes. Well, maybe I'll save that for another video. So I'm Dan Forbes, a realtor here in Cedar Park, Texas, serving all of the North Austin area. And if you like what you see and hear on my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll be notified whenever new videos are put up. I tell you, I just love living here. I get contacted all the time for people who want to know more about Cedar Park, Texas because they are moving here. And if that's you, if you'll look below, you will see in the uh, description below how to contact me. You can call me, you can send me a text, you can send me an email, send me a carrier pigeon, I don't care but I'd be happy to hear from you and to find out if I can help you. Thanks so much.